Hi, I'm George, and this is how to make a photo black and white in Affinity Photo. Now, this is an easy process, only takes two adjustments. Now, the first thing we need is to make a duplicate of this layer. Right click on our layer here and choose duplicate right there, and then hide that one layer. That's just a safety. In case we mess up, we can always go back to our original right there in the same file. Okay, now come down here. This is the adjustments. Click on this, and then right up here it says black and white. Click on that. That does a real fast, basic adjustment to black and white. We can then check all of our sliders in here and find just the right color. Now going to the left makes things darker. Going to the right makes things lighter. Most of your flesh tones are going to be in your warm colors, your red and your yellow. So we'll start off with red and just move it down a bit like this. And just kind of go back and forth a bit and see where it looks good. I think right around in here looks pretty good. Do the same thing for the yellow. And maybe right in here, that's looking pretty nice. Little adjustment on the red. Okay, let's now check our green. Not much happening there, so I'll leave that at the middle setting. Cyan, go too far, it begins to block up, see that? So don't take it too far, it's a little bit of that. Let's try our blue. It's more of the sky, so I'll bring the blue down a little bit, and let's bring a little more cyan in maybe. Maybe right in here looks pretty good. This kind of brings in some values into the background. And then the magenta. Not seeing anything on the magenta, so I'll leave that at 100%. Okay, that part is done. Let's now come right back down to our working layer right here and back again to our adjustments. This time, go clear to the top for levels right here. And in here, we're gonna adjust our black and our white levels. This will increase your contrast. Pulling the black in and the white in increases our contrast. What I care mostly about is increasing the darks in here. So we'll put our black in a little bit. This pulls the black point further into the picture and somewhere in here looks pretty good. You can kind of see a spike right there in our histogram. That's kind of a good spot for it right here. We can check our whites, but I think it's going to make the background too bright. That does so leave the whites alone. And then gamma down here is your midtones. So let's move our midtones to the left or the right, kind of go back and forth. I think a little bit of that towards the right, just a touch. I can then bring in just some more values in there. And there we go. There's a nice, carefully adjusted black and white. And as you saw, this only took just two adjustments.